the brand new M4 MacBook Pros are here. And while they are extremely impressive, these are some of the reasons that personally I will not be upgrading and maybe you shouldn't either. So first, let me talk about my personal setup because depending on who you are and what your goals are and what you would be upgrading from, these MacBook Pros may be the best option for you. But personally, I'm coming from having an M1 Max, which was pretty much decked out. I have two terabytes of storage. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. And so for me, even though if you look at all the charts that not only Apple is coming out with, but some of the leaks that are coming from Geekbench, this will absolutely destroy my personal setup, but I still do not think it is maybe a necessary upgrade for me or for anyone who does have an M1 maybe Pro or M1 Pro Max setup. Now, if you are doing more graphically intense things, then maybe it will be the right thing for you. Or maybe if you're coming from an Intel Mac, you still haven't upgraded to the M system, well, this will be a crazy upgrade. But from my situation, having the M1 one max that I primarily use for video editing. It still does an incredible job. Yes, I do feel like there's a few effects in DaVinci Resolve that they can kind of get gummed up a little bit, but overall it's a great editing experience. And at this point, I do not think that the power upgrade, although very significant, isn't necessarily going to help my workflow. Now, one of the reasons that I would be tempted to move up to the M4 Max is the new AI features that are supposed to be coming to the MacBooks. Now, some of them have already started to roll out, but to be real, the ones that I think will require the most from the neural processor or the neural engine, I think are going to be the video editing type stuff and the new features that are coming to the new Final Cut Pro. And even though I do primarily use DaVinci at this moment, if Final Cut Pro adds a lot of new AI features, then I maybe will be tempted to move back to Final Cut Pro. But to be real, I have been quite a bit disappointed with Apple recently with their new software. I just bought the new iPhone 16 Pro Max and it was all about Apple intelligence, yet it took over a month for them to just start now to roll out some of the new features and some of the biggest features have not been rolled out yet and maybe will be rolled out next year at some time. Moving forward, the other reason that I do not necessarily feel compelled to upgrade just yet is I believe that the M5 is going to be a more substantial upgrade when it comes to the actual physical design of the MacBook Pros. It has been essentially the same since the M1 besides a few upgrades to the camera as well as now having Thunderbolt 5 which could be huge but I also find that Thunderbolt 4 does the job for me. I primarily use external SSDs to edit off of, and I really do not see a hitch with it. But from the rumors that I'm hearing, the M5, which will probably be a year to a year and a half away, will probably have a new OLED screen, similar to the screen that they recently put in to the new iPad Pros. And I do think that is going to be a, an extremely cool technology to have a real substantial update with the screen, as well as probably probably a completely new design. I'm fairly happy with the M1 design, but any kind of tweaks and improvements that they can make, maybe make it slightly lighter if it doesn't sacrifice the fan, that would be great. Uh, as well as maybe add a additional Thunderbolt 5 port. And with those Apple intelligent features that are more tempting, well, I think that they're gonna be getting rolled out over the next year to year and a half. And maybe by that time, it will be a substantial upgrade for me to get the higher end AI features. But hopefully you have found value in this video and maybe it has clarified for you whether or not you should upgrade. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until next time, peace.